I guess people that need fusions have done a lot of the research. So what are the different names and what are the different fusion surgeries that are out there? And what do you recommend? Well, uh, you, most of the surgeries that are performed today are uh, under names like uh, posterior lumbar interbody fusion PLF, which we have been performing since the 1950s, or transforaminal lumbar interbody fusion TLF, which is we are performing since 1980s. This procedure, both of them require us to, for lack of other words, fillet your back open and to address and access the bad disc. Since so you cut the back open completely. to have better access to the spine. Yes, you visually, literally visualize. I mean, the, the muscles spine. are detached completely. Okay, that's okay. That's and, standard. And okay. that is unfortunately most of the surgeries performed even today in 2019 are performed that way. For the last 20 years, we have come with other ways of approaching the spine, like something that we open up your belly from the front to get in. We call anterior lumbar interbody fusion ALF. Or if we go a little to the side of the belly, but we still open your spine, we call it oblique lateral interbody fusion anterior to psoas. That is the only version that goes through the belly, O-L-I-F, not R-O-L-L-I-F. And then there is a way to go from the side. Those are called X-LIF uh, or lateral lumbar interbody fusion L-LIF, where we open the belly from the side to get access to the spine. In our approach, OLLIF, we don't go through the belly, we don't go through the uh, 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 back muscles, we go through a very thin layer of the tissue between the muscles that are in the back and in the front, and that is why we call it oblique lateral posterior lumbar interbody. So position. you're kind of going in with instruments, kind of just pushing the muscles out of That's the way? That's correct, gently moving them Not out of the way. Not cutting anything? Not cutting anything at all, except a small incision about half an inch on the skin to get, the ac get our access portals in. Now there's less than about 30 guys doing this regularly in the world or in the country. Because it's very demanding. The learning it is extremely demanding and time uh, uh, consuming to learn this procedure. Okay. To be able to do that surgery to a, that amount of small portal without damaging all the surrounding tissue. And you teach other medical doctors, spine surgeons, uh, neurosurgeons across? We have built a whole campus around teaching it to other surgeons. And insurance covers this, right? Absolutely. That Medicare, is, Medicaid, I mean, uh, everything's pretty much covering this. As a matter of fact, uh, the, this is a true story. I went and gave this talk to the higher level of the Blue Cross Blue Shield in Minnesota. Um, four days later, I got the mother of one of the uh, vice president of the Blue Cross Blue Shield to come and get our surgery done because the data was so convincing for them he stopped the surgery of his mother the old-fashioned way and sent the, that patient to us to get, this, get the surgery done our way. By the way, everything went well. The mother is happier, uh, as, as happy as she can be. So, um, and that, but this is the actually, once people start looking at the data, once people start looking at the data, it goes to the extent that they stop the old-fashioned surgery on their loved one and send the patient to us.